Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another Top 10 Polls of the Week presented by myself, Ian, of If Sports Cards. We have an insane list. $15,000 was the minimum to make the Top 10 this week. It keeps getting higher and higher. I think I told you guys, like, if it's 3K, send it in. Uh, not this week. This week is incredible, but we do have some honorable mentions that you guys would like to see that don't quite make that ten or $15,000 mark, but hopefully you guys are off to a great start to your week, and if you're here watching this right now, you definitely are. You're at the right place. Let's see what the top 10 polls are this week, and make sure to click that thumbs up button to get this video in front of other people of the hobby. Kicking us off again this week is Diamond Princess. I think it was four weeks ago she pulled an amazing card out of a 2022 Topps Heritage Blaster Box. Well, she did it again. Here she is kicking us off this week with our first honorable mention. Check this out. Colton Welker. Oh my God. Oh my God. No way. You're kidding. Holy crap. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is not real. <laughs> there is no way that's real. I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty real to me. Uh, again, four week, or three weeks ago, she pulled the Otani Real Ones Red Auto. Well, here is the Mike Trout. Talk about, how, maybe she's opened a million blasters, but I gotta say, she's pulled two of the better autographs out of them and is insane. I got this $800 based on the last sale on eBay. Just a phenomenal pull. Our second honorable mention this week comes from 502 Frank, who's breaking over on YouTube, but this is actually at the National Convention Center, and he's opening one of their 2022 National Convention Silver Packs. <laughs> Check this out. All right, final Panini Silver Pack. So far, very... <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I was about to say so far successful opening. Holy cow. Cade Cunningham, are you kidding me? One of one! Oh, let's go! One of one! Uh, let's go! Well, that's a pretty cool pull out of one of these packs. I, I looked on eBay, you can get these packs of cards for less than 50 bucks, maybe even closer to 30 bucks. So. A Cade Cunningham one of one autograph? That's pretty cool. I, I got this at about $5,000 looking at his other Cade one of one auto sales from other products, but I don't think it'll do much more than that. But like I said, that is an excellent return on investment there. Our third honorable mention this week comes from Leighton Sports Cards over on YouTube, and they're opening 2021 Flawless Football. We've got one of one. NFL Diamonds Logo Rookie Quarterback Trey Lance Boom! Kaboom! Wow! Look at that! That's a nice looking card. This is the NFL Shields Gems and it's a one on one. I got this at $6,500 based on where Zach Wilson's sale of $5,100 on eBay. But let's head to our last honorable mention this week. Our last honorable mention comes from Pole Wax. And this video is posted over on their Instagram page. It is from 2021 Donruss Optic Football. Check this out. You ready? No. Oh my God! No! No way! Shut the f up! Shut up! No oh way! God. Trevor oh Lawrence, Zach Wilson, oh and Trey oh Lance, Triple oh Auto Gold Vinyl One of One. No way! No way! It just blows my mind that cards like this can't even crack the top ten. But this one was close. I got it at ten thousand dollars. Kind of a, just a guess because there's it's really hard to comp this card out. But I did look at some other triple auto sales as well as, you know, one-on-ones from T-Law, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance. But sometimes when you get these multiple player cards, the, the value does kind of go down a little bit. But this is a sick looking card right here. And this is our last honorable mention. It is time to get into the top 10 polls of the week.
Let's go. Kicking us off at number 10 this week, we are with Lil Poleman over on Instagram, and he's opening 2021 National Treasures Basketball. Rip it, Chase. I don't care. <laughs> I didn't see the name, but I saw the pack. Oh. Treasures. No. Oh. Oh. Diamonds. Logo man. One out of five. Okay. All right. Bye. That's sick. The Scotty Barnes rookie logo man. The first one, one out of five. I have this one at fifteen thousand dollars. No Scotty Barnes logo mans have sold up until this point, but looking at some of the other player sales across the league, I got this one at fifteen k. At number nine this week, we're with Backyard Breaks, and this post is over on their Instagram page, and it's of twenty twenty one flawless basketball. My gosh, JR. No! JR! Oh! oh my gosh, JR. Oh my gosh. The Zion Williamson Logo Man Auto. This is not a rookie card. This is of this year's product. This is sick, though. J-Mo just keeps pulling these freaking logo mans over there for backyard breaks. I got this at $17,000, which would be in line with where Anthony Davis's logo man's auto sold for at eBay auction. At number eight, we're with Top Notch Sports Breaks over on YouTube, and they're opening the newly released 2021 Eminence Football. Check this out. <laughs> Three and four. This stuff is sick. Guys, oh my God, this watch f***ing go! Let's go! <laughs> one of one shield auto Trevor Lawrence! Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go! That is a nasty card. I won't say this is the top poll out of Eminence Football. You'll know why here in the very near future, but this is definitely one of the top polls. The Trevor Lawrence Jumbo Patch Platinum. Has a nice little NFL shield there for you. I got this at $17,500 based on where other T-Law 101 sales are from other products. But that is beautiful. At number seven, we're with Nighthawk Cards who are breaking over on the Loop app. But this post or this video was posted on Twitter from 2021 Donner's Optic Football. Check out this nice little shiny card back there. It is gold vinyl. Let's that go. looks like gold vinyl, Let's baby. Let's go. Congrats. Oh! Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got chills. I need I'm a new the leaves. Holy! <laughs> f right here, dude. Oh, I didn't see that. It was like oh so see through. My oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, I got chills, dude. I got to sleeve this. Yes, dude. We might have we, to bring this one to you. Yeah, I don't know where you we, live, might, buddy. we might be flying this one to you, my Holy guy. This is probably getting flown to oh you. Oh my god. One of one! Oh my god! Holy f. Diaz, we're bringing oh this Oh my to god. You, oh my oh god. god. Get that out of oh my, my hand. God. That is awesome. I don't know if they didn't realize that this was a one on one. You know, with Prism, sometimes these are numbered out of five. Well, they are out of five in Prism, but. That was a pretty cool reaction. The gold vinyl one of one Mac Jones. I got this one at eighteen thousand dollars, which I understand is nowhere near the hundred k that the Prism sold for, and I don't think it's gonna get anywhere near that hundred k that the Prism sold for. But this is a sick card right here. At number six, we are with Wax Hub, who are breaking over on Facebook, and they're also opening twenty twenty one Eminence Football. Oh. Give us. Give us the I'm letting you two know. I'm letting you. I'm letting you two know that I am sorry. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm letting you guys know that I'm sorry. Shield. Vertical shield. One on one. That's the shield. That's the real shield, baby. That is nasty. That's what I said. You know. It's one of the top cards, the last one, but I think this one's just a little bit better. It's vertical. It's the true RPA of this product. I got this 
RPA Platinum 101 T-Law at $20,000. At number five this week, we are with Beijing Love Cards. And this video is over on their Instagram page from 2021 National Treasures Basketball. Logo man, autographs. Let me, let me stop to shake and so you can read the card. Well, if you still can't read it, that says Steph Curry Logo Man Autograph from 2021 National Treasures Basketball. You know, I don't like to bring these redemptions on the show unless they're massive. Well, I got this one at 50K, which is kind of a guess, to be honest with you guys. But looking at some of Steph Curry's high non-rookie sales over on Golden Auction, I think that'd be about in the 50K range. That is a massive redemption right here. At number four this week, we're with 225 Breakers over on Facebook, and they're opening 2021 Chronicles Football. All right, Prison Black Auto coming up. Come on. I like the colors. Look at that. Blue and red. Let's go. Oh, it's a one of one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mac Jones. Holy crap. Holy crap. Brian Wood, Mac Jones, one of one. Holy crap. That is nasty. The Prism Black, Black Finite. I feel like we've seen this card already, but we have not. This is a phenomenal card. I got this one at $65,000, and that's just because that the Prism Black autos are not selling as high as its Prism counterparts, although... I said it before, you look at the front of this card, you wouldn't have no idea. This is not from the Prism product. It's actually from Chronicles. But uh, that is a freaking sick pull. And uh, we have three better than this. <laughs> Let's see what they are. At number three, we are with Hitman Rips. And this was probably the most requested video of the week. And I know a lot of you are thinking this is number one. I was included. When I saw this poll, I thought this would be number one. And it is worthy of a number one spot. Check out this personal rip of a Prism White Sparkle pack from Hitman. You get one rookie per pack. So, and of course, the one of one autos are possible. If you get an auto, it will be a one of one. So, uh, we've already pulled two of those. Let's pull another. Good luck to us. Here it is. The ceiling is very high on this pack. No. Oh my gosh. No way I just did that. We just pulled the Mac Jones one of one white sparkle. That that literally might be $100,000. It's probably more than $100,000. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I apologize guys. This is uh that is insane. I'm, my heart is beating really fast. We just pulled the one of one Mac Jones White Sparkle. I did not expect this. Uh, uh, my hands are shaking a little bit. Oh my gosh. I can't. Am I dreaming? I can't believe this. I can assure you this is not a dream. This is a sick card. These cards look so amazing in person. And I'm so happy for Hitman. I got this at eighty thousand dollars. I know Hitman says he thinks this could be a hundred K card, and it really could. But what a genuine reaction! And I do gotta, I gotta call you out, Hitman. No, Lord have mercy. I'm about to bust. Gif, what, what? We, give us what we want. <laughs> Just kidding, dude. Congratulations on this poll. At number two. We are with Hat Trick Breaks over on Facebook, and this is a poll out of 2021 Donner's Optic Football. Bro, that might be a downtown. Oh, maybe. Is, a, is that a rookie? That's a rookie. It's upside down. That's a downtown. Dude, look, see that? See that? One downtown. See that right there? No way. 
Oh, let's go. Come on. Mac Jones! Let's go! 101 downtown Mac Jones. Who's the GOAT now? Yeah, let's go! That is insane. What a beautiful card. I can just stare at this all day, looking at all the details on here. They do such a good job with these, but I got this gold vinyl downtown 101 at $85,000, just a hair over where I had Hitman's 101 Mac Jones. But the highest downtown sale from Optic is currently a T Law. His gold out of 10 sold for $13,000, which if you look at the Prism Autos, the golds out of 10 don't typically sell. Sell for a little bit less than that, I want to say. So I stuck this car just a little bit above the White Sparkle Auto. But I do think these are going to be very, very close. You guys let me know. Do you think one of these is, is a lot more valuable than the other? you think I'm off here or do you think this is pretty close? But regardless, we have one better than this. Let's see who took down the top spot this week. At number one, we are back with Beijing Love Cards. For the second time today, they're over on Instagram and they opened something incredible out of 2021 National Treasures Basketball. Let's see what it is. Those guys are psyched, and as they should be. The Jalen Green one of one logo man RPA. This is a massive card. I predicted this would be about a two hundred thousand dollar card, and I think I'm going to hold to that. I am told, however, that the current offer for this card is over eight hundred thousand U.S. dollars. I just, you know, I don't really have a way of confirming that number. It seems like a lot of money, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. This. Someone could be very, very high on Jalen Green, and this is his top card that you can own. What a freaking pull, and congratulations to Beijing Love Cards. What a phenomenal week you guys had with National Treasures Basketball. Looking at what's to come in the sports card hobby, we are looking in August now, already to August, which is incredible. We have Obsidian Basketball, Upper Deck Hockey, Select WWE, Recon Basketball and Legacy Football all coming out over the course of the next week. Although I do think we're going to see some more flawless National Treasures Prism. But if you guys see anything pulled over the course of the next week that you feel should be on next week's episode, again, it might have to be 10 k It doesn't have to be, but especially if it's retail. If it's retail, it definitely does not have to be. But I thank each and every one of you who sent a submission this week. There was a ton. I keep getting more and more help with these, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Please keep sending those in. And again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully the values are, are somewhat close. Uh, again, these are all just estimates. Don't get too carried away or hung up on them. But that's just kind of how I rank order these things. But thank you guys again for watching. Thank you to my channel members for the additional support. And thank you guys for watching each and every week. We will see you again next week on the Top 10 Polls of the Week. Until then, be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.